Hi, this is Dave from Notes and Volts, and welcome to part three of the Twitch Switch project. In this episode, we're going to complete construction by uploading the code and giving it a test to make sure everything works. Once again, I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters for helping to make this project possible. All right, let's get started. Uploading the program files to the Twitch switch is a three-step process. Step one is to download and install the Arduino programming software. Step two is to download and install the Teensy Loader extension. And finally, the third step is to upload the Twitch switch program code to the device. First, we'll download the Teensy software by going to pjrc.com or simply do a Google search for Teensy. It should be the first link that comes up. Now you can click on the Getting Started tab on the left side of the page and click on Teensy Loader. Click on the Teensy Duino link to get to the download page. Now choose the file for your operating system. Here's an important note. Pay attention to the supported versions of the Arduino software. We're going to need to use one of these versions for it to work properly. Right now, the latest supported version is 1.8.0. So when we download the Arduino software, we'll choose this version. Now click the link and wait for the file to download. Now we're ready to download the Arduino software. Simply do a Google search for Arduino and click on the first link. Now click on the download tab. Notice that the current version of the Arduino software is 1.8.1. And if you remember back to the Teensy site, we need 1.8.0. So go to the previous releases tab and you'll find the older versions of the software. Download 1.8.0 for your operating system. Now we're ready to install the software. Double click the Arduino installer and install it with default settings. Once it's finished, start the program to make sure everything is working. Next, we'll install the Teensy Duino software. Click the Next button to move through the dialogs until you get to the Find Arduino folder page. The program should find your Arduino installation automatically. The next page allows you to choose which libraries you want to install for the Teensy. This project doesn't require any of them, so you can select none. But if you plan to experiment more with the Teensy, go ahead and install them. Click Done to finish. Let's move on to the final step. Visit notesandvolts.com by clicking the link in the video description and download the Twitch Switch software. The file will come in a zipped folder, so unzip it to your desktop. Open the unzipped folder and drag the Twitch Switch program folder to your desktop. Open this folder and double click on the twitchswitch.eno file you find inside. This will open it in the Arduino software. Now 
Now connect your Twitch switch to your computer with a USB cable. Open the tools menu and set the board type to Teensy LC. Next, set the USB type to keyboard. Finally, make sure the keyboard layout is set to US English. Now you need to hit the verify button and let the code compile. Once the code is finished compiling, the Teensy Loader window should pop up. Make sure that the Auto button is selected in the Teensy Loader. Now click the Upload button to send the code to your Teensy. When you see the Done Uploading message in the bottom of the window, the job is done. Now we can test that everything is working. Open up a new text document. Start pressing buttons on the Twitch switch and you should see letters appear on your text document. The Twitch switch software assigns the buttons with the letters A to K as a default. So if you see these letters pop up, you know it's working. If you've made it this far, congratulations, you now have a fully functioning Twitch switch. In the next episode, we'll learn how to customize the buttons for your setup and integrate this project into OBS. Until then, visit notesandvolts.com for more projects and tutorials, and once again, thanks for watching.